begin to get some of this stuff together. Um, I'm going to stick it on this pick guard for now and then um, we'll just work through it as we go. I have noticed that they gave us some pots. I do have one of these little tabs on it. Uh, blue, right there. That's going to prevent us from having this sit flush. Um, they do sometimes have guards that will have a little indentation um, that will make this go in there and set this so it doesn't turn on you. Um, but this doesn't have it. And um, the easiest bet is just to snip it off. Uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to do a snip. And that went somewhere. So we'll go ahead and do that for all. And again, I'm not going to probably use these uh, for the final build. Probably going to get slightly better ones, like I said. Not uh, super expensive, but a little bit better. You know, full size ones. And right now I'm just uh, going to do a little bit of filing just to smooth it over. I'm not really in frame with it, so I'll just hold it up and see. Doesn't require much, just a little bit, just to smooth it so it doesn't nick you. start wiring this thing up and uh, we'll just speed up some. shit from my dog but no worries because we've got it all put together and it was a lot of fun like I said this is my first kit um, and I had a good time just putting this together just uh, bare bones and having a lot of fun playing it like I, uh, I said I'm happy with the fret work um, I mentioned that in my other video um, I think uh, right out of the box, I was expecting a lot of sharp fret ends. Um, I definitely don't feel any fret sprout. Um, maybe some minor rough spots, but that's definitely something that I can address really quickly. Um, shouldn't take me any time at all, and I'll get this really comfortable. Um, probably also when I do that, I'll probably round these fret ends, uh, not the fret ends, but the uh, fret board ends slightly, um, just to get a little bit more worn in, comfortable play playability um, but yeah I think uh, there's only a couple issues I had with the kit overall um, I touched upon this in the other video 
uh, was this neck pocket issue. A um, little s extra space would uh, cause this neck to shift, you know, left and right. Um, and it caused a string alignment issue when I was putting it together. I did remedy that in the video with bits of sandpaper. Just put about three strips in there. And it definitely was the perfect amount, and it's definitely not going anywhere now. And that was a good fix, an easy fix, something that I had around. Um, even though that was a good fix, uh, I may change it up and try to get a piece of veneer in there. and uh, Or maybe a piece of craft wood, real thin craft wood. That way I can kind of touch that spot up and get that... Um, a little bit more seamless as far as the little gap. It's really hard to notice unless you're really looking for it. But you can kind of see there um, just a bit of a gap, more so than you see on this end. Um, yeah, right there you can kind of see it. So if uh, I can find a piece that will fit in there really good and I can touch it up, I will. But if not, um, I'm happy with that sandpaper fix. Um, and as you can see, I have, you know, painter's tape on the pick guard. Uh, reason for that is because I wanted to get a quick um, assembly of this without drilling any holes that I didn't need right away. Um, because everything's still up in the air about what I plan on doing with the kit. Um, so I just uh, put it together, got some tape on there just to hold it up. And uh, I think as far as the pick guard goes, um, I might try to... Kind of make it more Jackson-esque uh, and cut this just uh, about right there in kind of a straight line and uh, alleviate any pick guard here that way it shows more of the finish and wood grain and all that and then just have the pick guard come down here and cover the control uh, cavity um, that's probably what I'll do but again things are still up in the air uh, probably we'll do that and direct mount these pickups or have you know separate pickup rings. Um, and on that note, I also tightened up these tuners. Um, I just used the bolts and uh, screw those in place and have them snug so I didn't have to drill any holes for the uh, tuners themselves, just because I'm not sure exactly what tuners I'm gonna use yet. Um, the plan is to go all black hardware, so um, definitely going to have to figure out what kind and um, get all that uh, set for it. Probably hip shot, but it's still up in the air to see what's out there. Um, other than that, uh, the only issue neck wise was um, it seems slightly out of alignment as far as like how the neck's tilting. Um, as you can see, kind of tilts back a bit. Um, not really, you know, straight and level, and that seems to be causing issues with uh, fret buzz on the you know, higher frets. As you can hear, um, <clears throat> it was a lot worse uh, until I did pull this bridge up quite a bit to help that buzz. So I got it, you know, somewhat playable to where you're not really hearing it. To the amp so much maybe just a tiny bit and uh with that i also had to pull this bridge pickup all the way it would go um to get it kind of in the tonal you know aspect that i like so i think um putting a slight shim on the base of this neck pocket it will bring that um that tilt kind of here and or even a little bit more and that will give me a little bit more access um to alleviate that fret buzz. It's either that or um, I might have some leveling issues. That was one thing I forgot to check when I pulled the kit out. Um, I wanted to kind of see what that was looking like just so I can kind of see the road ahead, but I suspect I'll have to do a little bit of leveling um, anyway, just because it's an inexpensive kit uh, guitar. Um, but other than that, um, the only other issue I had was a slight electronics issue. Um, as you can see, um, I do have um, knobs on these two pots, um, but nothing on here. That's because that's a CTS pot and the knob wouldn't fit on that. Uh, the tone, I mean the uh, volume pot that came with it, 
um, was something that I believed was an issue uh, because I was getting no signal from the bridge pickup. So in troubleshooting that, I put a CTS pod in there to kind of troubleshoot and figure out what was going on. Um, and the issue was still there. So um, I moved on to the um, <clears throat> pickup selector knob or um, pot or whatever they call it. And uh, that was the issue. So I put a new one in, which is, is a pro line. Um, and that fixed the issue. And instead of putting the old pot back for the volume, I just left it as is. So like I said, it's bare bones. I'm just trying to get it together so I can do some sound samples and kind of get a good before and after once the kit's done. Um, so with that being said, I'm happy with all that. Um, I've been having a lot of fun on this guitar, just rocking out on it, and I can't wait to kind of get all the updated parts and pickups and all that and get, you know, finish on there and get it feeling really nice. And then it'll be, you know, even more fun. So first, um, I'll uh, get some sound samples. We'll start with some clean. And um, I'll be playing through a Black Star KT88 Studio 10. Um, we'll start with the clean. Um, just a little bit of light reverb from the amp. We'll do a couple sound samples of that. And then we'll move on to the gain. And uh, we'll probably kick on an, a Tube Screamer at some point, give it a little bit more, and then probably some delay. But other than that, it'll be just the drive from the amp. So start with the clean. <clears throat> All right, so I figured we'd start out with a little clean and then we'll move on to some light overdrive and then some heavy distortion thereafter. Uh, so right now I'm running this through the clean channel of my Black Star Studio 10 with KT88s and just a little reverb from the amp and um, it's gonna sound uh, like this. <laughs> pickup so a little spiky um, so we'll move on to the uh, middle position Sounds a little bit better. And um, I did forget to mention I have my amp mic'd up um, with a clone of a Shure 57. Um, sounds pretty good, I think, uh, for only 14 bucks. And uh, here's the neck pickup. <laughs> to some light overdrive. Uh, same setup, um, I'll just use a little less reverb uh, for the initial part on the amp and then we'll move on to um, a little bit heavier gain after that. Okay. 
All right, so we'll move on to a little lighter overdrive and then I'll probably pump up the uh, gain knob as we go. Uh, so right now we're looking at a gain about nine o'clock. So there's some light um, overdrive, um, a little less reverb than on the clean uh, demo. And uh, we can maybe spike that up a little as we go and maybe some delay and tube screamer. But here is a little light overdrive. <laughs> So we'll bump it up. Um, we'll get it about 11 o'clock now and uh, try the same thing. That's where um, I usually keep it. I might leave it around one and two as my main uh, distortion, and then I'll bump it up with a tube screamer. But this is at one o'clock. <laughs> Tiny bit more. Um, we'll go. Uh, this is a little bit more than I usually will go. It's about three o'clock, um, but we'll see how that sounds. heavier um, driven with a uh, tube screamer. I'll probably leave the game at one o'clock and then boost it with a tube screamer and then add some delay as we go. I'll reset everything and then get the tube screamer set up how I like so we'll try that next. All right so I have it set up uh, with a tube screamer now and I have the gain set uh, still about one o'clock and uh, just a tiny bit of reverb from the amp. And then I have the Tube Screamer with uh, about no gain on there, but I have boosted the tone and the level um, probably about 3 o'clock. Yeah, about 3 o'clock, <clears throat> just to see how that sounds. And then we might kick on the reverb and delay a little higher and then see how that sounds or maybe some lead. But uh, here's a little bit of heavier tone, and I'd probably play a little bit more often with a guitar like this. reverb and the delay just see how that sounds
Not much of a lead player, but just a good idea. That's how it would sound with a little bit of reverb and delay, boost with a tube screamer. Um, so that's uh, the sounds before, and um, I probably will do more of a mixed song uh, snippet for both of this, just to get an idea, and then we'll do it back to back. I just wanted to get kind of a rough um, sounds right out of the box, or I should say, right put together. And uh, so now, as we got that all straight, um, we can start with the sanding and get the build underway. Thanks, appreciate it.